Welcome to our afternoon session. Today is the first day of December in the year 2020. This is the African International Mediation Week and Strategy Conference hosted by Wasiliana Hub and collaborating partners. This is the annual event for mediators and dispute resolution professionals in Africa. Today afternoon on the first day of December for our 3.30 p.m. session, this is the practitioner seminar series and we will have a training seminar with Mr. Maina Migwi, who is the director of Suluhu Mediation Center based in Nakuru, Kenya. And the topic of discussion today is on good practices in the provision of mediation services via online platforms. Welcome to this session. I welcome you again to I welcome you again to the African International Mediation Week, where we are running uh, sessions as part of the African International Mediation Week and Strategy Con uh, 20 Conference, which is being hosted from the 1st of December 2020 to the 4th uh, of December 2020. Today is on the first day of December in the year 2020, and we are at our 3.30 p.m. afternoon session. And our facilitator for this session is Mr. Maina Migwi, who is the dire director at Suluhu Mediation Center in Nakuru in Kenya. The topic that Mr. Maina Migwi will take us through today is on good practices in the provision of mediation services via online platforms. Mr. Migwi, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, yes, and it's yes. nice being here. Yeah, wonderful, and it's also a delight. Thank you very much for joining us, and you may kindly proceed with your presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Let me share my screen so that then you can confirm to me that you can see my screen. Yes, thank you. We can see your screen. You'll kindly uh, en enlarge the presentation. Yes, yes. All right. We can see. Um, yes, thank you very much, Mr. Mimpi. Yes, we can be able to see your screen well. All right, thank you very much, uh, Wangare. And also thank you to those who've been able to join us uh, this uh, afternoon as we go about uh, this uh, presentation on uh, best practices in online mediation. So maybe just to start off, I'd like to introduce uh, Suluhu Mediation Center. And that uh, Suluhu Mediation Center uh, we have a number of services that we carry out. We do online mediations and we also do online mediation training. And uh, in uh, online mediation training, we have the facilitator led uh, training or the virtual uh, training where we do uh, what we do normally, but uh, online. Uh, but this uh, particular afternoon, uh, we are here uh, to discuss uh, online mediation uh, uh, best practices. So of course, uh, for us uh, to be able to do online mediations, we need to be uh, well equipped. And for one to do, we have a number of tools uh, which uh, you will require. Uh, for instance, you'll require uh, computers or laptops and or tablets. And then you also need to have uh, uh, a software which you'll be comfortable with. We have a number of uh, uh, different uh, softwares, like for instance, in this, a particular meet you're using a uh, zoom uh, we also have uh, others which uh, people will prefer for various uh, reasons and uh, when we have uh, the uh, the required computers or laptops then you also need to have a good internet uh, connectivity and before one uh, runs a mediation session then they would need to do uh, trial runs prior to the session uh, so that then uh, when the session kicks off, uh, you are you're in a position to uh, kick off. Your clients too also need to have done the, the trail runs. So this means that uh, uh, all of you will need to log in a few minutes prior to the appointed time uh, so that then uh, you can be able to do uh, trail runs to ensure that uh, your videos and also your mics are in good working order. And of course, uh, you might also need to have a, a power backup just uh, in case uh, your battery runs off uh, before uh, the session uh, uh, ends. 
also for uh, for online mediation, we need to ensure that the envir environment is uh, right uh, for that session. Uh, this means then you'd need to be in a venue which is quiet, which is conducive, and that they, where there are no disruptions. It's also uh, very important uh, that the lighting is good uh, so that then you are able to see the clients and they're also able to see you. As mediators, we know that uh, uh, not everything is said. <clears throat> and for you to be able to hear that which is not said, then you need to be able to see your clients and they also need uh, to see you. So then the environment needs to be uh, just right uh, for that mediation session. And then there are a few uh, uh, principles which we must uh, adhere to because we all know that uh, mediation is supposed to be confidential and as such you'll need to ensure that your online mediation session uh, conforms to these uh, principles. For instance, uh, your session, uh, for it to be confidential, then um, the venue also needs to be right. Then, uh, only those people who are supposed to be in that session uh, would then be in those rooms. And you also need to be able to use uh, breakout rooms and the waiting rooms uh, to ensure that confidentiality is upheld. Uh, for instance, when you're doing your, uh, your private sessions or the caucuses, then you would need to, uh, to use breakout rooms uh, so that then you can be able to have to create a virtual room where one party or one group can wait. Sometimes the mediation could be between two groups. Then you'd need to have them in one room uh, where they can continue discussing as they wait for the other uh, party to finish their private session. Uh, you'd also need to use uh, uh, waiting rooms, especially to, uh, for uh, their times, especially during your fast mediation. The parties may not arrive at the same time and you would need then to enable waiting rooms on your Zoom session so that then the parties can wait, uh, you can be able to allow them in once both parties have been there because you didn't want to meet one party in isolation of the other because it would create uh, an element of bias. Again, uh, uh, as much as you're doing your session online, you also need uh, to support, uh, to, to uphold client self-determination so you would not uh, then uh, suggest or push your clients uh, to think in a certain direction. You also need to support informed consent and uh, being uh, having doing this uh, session online. Uh, this means that your parties need to be able to, to consult and also to reach out to the advisors or to their advocates in order to make informed uh, decisions. And as such, uh, you would need to have uh, the skills on how to make use of the breakout rooms so that then you, you can uh, be able to create a room for, for your clients where they can uh, consult uh, their advocates or advisors uh, in privacy so that then those uh, discussions are confidential and they are able to make uh, uh, decisions uh, from informed consent. Doing mediations uh, online does not uh, necessarily mean, uh, does not mean that the parties uh, can be forced into, into, media, into a mediation session. They will, you will still need to confirm that they are there voluntarily and that they have not been coerced. So as much as we do our, our sessions online, what we do in a physical setting still needs to apply when we do it online, only that this time uh, you won't be with your clients in the same location, but then you must ensure that you are able uh, to ensure these principles are upheld. And as such, you need to have some uh, knowledge on how uh, to make uh, uh, use of uh, of the online uh, 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 functions which are there, which will help you to uphold these uh, principles. 
again uh, doing a session online uh, you need uh, to ensure that uh, certain etiquettes are uh, complied with for instance when uh, you are uh, you are in a session with your clients you need to actively listen uh, to what they are saying you'll need to see them you'll need to listen to them you'll need to engage them because it would uh, be impolite it would not be polite for your clients to speak and yet you're not uh, actively listening or engaging them in the uh, in the conversation that they're having with you again your presentation is uh, very important the way you dress you need to be dressed uh, um, to give your clients the impression that uh, you you take their session to be important you respect them as such uh, you'll not be there in a vest uh, again also you need to be careful about your camera if there are certain sections uh, which they need not see then you need uh, to ensure uh, that then you can be able to put off the camera when uh, there are certain things you need to do and they you would not uh, want your clients uh, to see that uh, we've had instances where clients have uh, um, uh, hosts, uh, miss, meeting hosts have forgotten to put off uh, their camera and they've engaged in other activities uh, which have ended uh, putting them in disrepute or uh, ended up uh, embarrassing them. Again, uh, when uh, you're having uh, the online meeting, you need to ensure that your image or uh, that uh, is in the center of the screen so that then the, the clients can be able to see you can be able to communicate because you can't be able to communicate with your clients if they cannot be able to see you. You also need to be able to see your clients so that then you can be able to listen to what they are saying and also to that which they are not saying. Then as part of your house, you also need to ensure that uh, you, uh, you do housekeeping, especially uh, at the beginning, that then you can agree with your clients that they they need to have their, their phones silent or off, including yourself. You might also want to handle other housekeeping issues such as what uh, should happen when the internet uh, uh, may be unstable and your clients may fall off or yourself. You can agree on, what, on uh, what to do in such instances. Like for instance, you could share your, your number so that then they can call you when they, they fall off and then this would uh, uh, would also mean that you'd need to have that session adjourned until the other party is able to to come back on because again you're also looking at ensuring that uh, you seem to be neutral and that both parties are on board uh, when this is going on so that is it uh, with the online uh, mediation um, uh, I don't know if we have uh, a chance to uh, take questions. I'm seeing we are, we are only four of us. If there are any questions, uh, then Wangari will tell us if we have time to, to take questions. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Yes, thank you, Mr. Migwi. Yes, uh, thank you, you to Wangari. Yes, uh, for, your, for your presentation. Uh, I, I hear Edu Napacha has uh, probably a comment or a remark. He may put it, and then we could uh, we can close the session. Edu Napacha. Thank you, Angari, yes, and hi. Hello, very well. Uh, this question is to Mr. Migwi. Yes, please. Uh, yes, go ahead. ODR is a relatively new dimension as, as far as uh, conducting online uh, meetings or mediations is concerned. However, I would just like you maybe to mention or point out how, how to go about yeah. in light of having parties that are probably not conversant with handling online mediation. Probably they don't have access to a computer or they don't have access to internet. And furthermore, they do not have the knowledge on how to go about participating in such a forum. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Edin, for that question. Yes, we do have clients who may not have the expertise. Maybe they could be elderly, or maybe they have not interacted uh, with the uh, with online uh, uh, with online issues before. 
and uh, just like in a, uh, a physical uh, uh, setting or mediation, these people normally will have their advisors or people who support them through uh, these uh, sessions. So they, they could be advocates, they could be their personal advisors, and uh, their personal advisors could then be able to support them. Like for instance, today I had a session where there were elder, there was an elderly uh, couple, and they could they they had to go to their lawyer's office, and the lawyer uh, helped them uh, to participate in that uh, session by providing the equipment. Uh, so yes, if they are not uh, able to, they can be supported. Sometimes you may also have uh, clients who have limited uh, knowledge, and uh, you can give them some uh, some tutorials at the beginning, like what to do. Uh, when they need to log in, or what to do during the the, the response, uh, during during the session, so they can they can be able to participate with guidance and support. I thank, don't know thank, if I've answered your question. Yes, you've answered my question, and just maybe to add a comment on to that. Yeah, uh, I had uh, uh, a matter whereby one of the parties was in Embu. Yeah. So I just tried to think outside the box. So I seek the help of uh, the, the officers in the registry in the EMBU, and they were able to facilitate that party to go to EMBU law courts and uh, be facilitated with a machine and also somebody just to assist them negotiate the platform. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, Wangare? Wangare, are you there? Yes, uh, I am here. I see a raised hand by Pauline Wahinya. We could take that as the closing uh, question or inquiry. Pauline Wahinya, I see a raised hand. Pauline Wahinya? Okay. Pauline, are you yeah, there? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Angari. My question is to make way, uh, and my concerns are, had you done uh, online or Zoom meeting before COVID, or you just started during the COVID? And then what is your experience? Because as much as we know in this country, most of the area, up, rural areas, they are not covered by internet. There are still challenges. Are we talking only with the people who are in the in the towns? Because those are the people who understand and how do we deal with this? And just your, your experience, your experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Pauline. Uh, matters Online, actually, that's what we, when we set up in 2016, uh, we started off uh, doing our training and also our, our mediation sessions online. But then uh, the uptake was not very good. Uh, people were hesitant uh, to do things uh, online. So we've, uh, we have an experience uh, since uh, 2016 of doing uh, uh, mediations and mediation training online. Uh, of course, yes, uh, they are, uh, it's not only limited here in, uh, in towns where people use uh, internet. I think it has really spread because uh, uh, quite a number of people have uh, smartphones. And uh, with smartphones, then they can be able uh, to uh, to do sessions online. And uh, we've also had instances where network has not been good, but uh, uh, apparently I don't know why network is not good, but then people are able to do things uh, on WhatsApp. So I've also had uh, 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 situations where clients could not be able uh, to handle uh, Zoom, and we did the sessions uh, via, via WhatsApp. So I think it's also for us to be innovative. Sometimes when uh, you're not in a position to be able to guide your clients, you can look for other tools which, uh, which you can use, not necessarily uh, a Zoom. I think the, the, the phone is uh, everywhere in every corner of this uh, country. Pauline, I don't know if I've answered your question. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. That we will see now. You know, we are just starting embracing technology. So yes, and yes, and also, train our people. yes, and also uh, just for information, we have an online facilitation course which we run 
it's done online and it teaches people uh, skills that they can use online to do their meetings and also their mediations online. Over to you, Angare. Thank you. You're most Thank welcome. You. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Maina Mwigi, uh, Migwi. Uh, we are in the session on uh, the trainings uh, practitioner seminar series, and uh, we have Mr. Maina Mwigi, Migwi, who is the director of Suduhu Mediation Center in Nakuru, and uh, he has been taking us through good practices uh, on um, online dispute resolution and when you're using uh, the platforms. So Mr. Miner, we'll kindly request if you can tell us a bit. Uh, we, we, we'll be we are closing the session in the next uh, three mi five minutes. Uh, we'll kindly request if you can tell us a bit more about the program that you run for online uh, for, for training, specifically in this, in this area, just before we get to closing. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Wangare. Uh, yes, we, we've been uh, doing uh, online mediation training uh, since uh, 2016. And under online mediation training, we have uh, two uh, programs. We have the self-paced mediation training, and this is where uh, students have uh, we, uh, get access to our platform. And on the platform, we have uh, modules, there are quizzes, there's a video library uh, where uh, students can be able to interact with the modules, watch the videos. And then we have three weekly uh, role play sessions where the, uh, the students get to to do role plays which are assessed. And then we also have the virtual uh, training where we do uh, we do it like the normal classroom, only that it's done virtu uh, virtually. They are, we have uh, presentations and then we also do the role plays uh, online. We also have uh, a program for practicing mediators where they can be able to uh, to schedule a session, they can be able to do uh, a role play and they can be able to be assessed and they can be able to see uh, what areas they need uh, to improve. And also for those who've not practiced for quite some time, we have the skill gap training, uh, which we do, we do online. Yes, so that's, uh, that's our online uh, uh, training. Thank you so much, Wangare, back to you. So uh, yeah, thank you for that uh, briefing on with regard to online, the online training uh, that you provide. And yeah. so that means that if you have any of the peers who uh, either need to upgrade on their skills or they would like to be able to uh, know more, then they can be able to get in touch with you. Very, so once again, true. yes, once again, we uh, we thank Mr. Maina Mugwi of uh, the director at Suluhu Mediation Center for his uh, presentation to us. Uh, this is part of the uh, practitioner seminar series where we have practitioners who are giving us uh, uh, insights and uh, in areas either they have expertise or areas where they, they have experience and we are grateful. So this is a closing session of the in the uh, practitioner seminar series today. Uh, tomorrow we have one more. So earlier in the day we had uh, Mr. William Agan who took us through the uh, intellectual property model clauses that uh, can be used that are for IP protection and that relate to mediation. We also had uh, Madam Tabitha Rutere, who's the Executive Director of Covenant Mediators and Counseling Center in Nakuru, who took us through uh, psychological counseling in the provision of mediation services. And uh, we also had uh, Christine Kipsang, who is a court annex mediator and the Vice Chairperson at the um, Mombasa, Law so Mombasa branch of the Law Society of Kenya. And now we are concluding with Mr. Maina Mwigwi uh, in, the in the segment of online dispute resolution. We'd like to thank you for joining us. Allow me to kindly highlight the sessions that are coming up and uh, we invite mediators uh, to, 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 to these sessions. We have our next session at 4.30 p.m. So please go and take a water break and the session runs until 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. It will be one hour. This is a session with Mediators Beyond Borders International, um, USA. And uh, you'll be delighted to know that uh, Lisa Rose, who will be the, uh, taking us through the session, she's actually in, in this particular session we are in. And I uh, will request that I can invite her in just a few minutes after I'm done with this to just say hello to us. And as we prepare to, to join in with her for the next session at 4.30 PM. So uh, Mediators Beyond Borders is an international organization. We'll learn more about their work internationally and also their work in Kenya, and also how mediators can become members. Our, and she will be joined uh, in that discussion by Dorina Pretch, 
who is a co -team, the co-team leader for the Mediation Beyond Borders International Kenya team. The next session after that will be at 6 p.m. And uh, this will be hosted with the Karuna Center for Peace Building USA. And uh, we will be taken through by, uh, the, by Professor Wendy, uh, when, uh, Wendy Lucas Wood on the, the uh, MBBI uh, democracy, uh, uh, democracy, politics and conflict engagement, uh, 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 conflict literacy. And this is uh, as we start looking at how to prepare mediators for the elections that are coming up so that we can have mediators who are prepared. In this session, we uh, expect the IEBC, the Independent and Ele Elections and Boundaries Commission Kenya, and also the National Cohesion and Integration Commission Kenya. And also we'll have practitioners in the session. Key highlight for today is 8 p.m. today when we have our opening ceremony. And in our opening ceremony, we will be hosting the Canada Civil Resolution Tribunal uh, for British Columbia, which is actually one of the uh, the first, one of the world's first uh, online tribunals that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I believe that that session actually goes very well in sync with the one we've had right now. Our chief guest for our opening ceremony is uh, Reverend Professor Peter Gishure, who is the Director of Graduate Studies, uh, School of Graduate Studies, and also the Academic uh, Linkages Coordinator acting at Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And the session will be moderated by Alex Nyinge. During the, uh, the closing ceremony, we will also have the, uh, the chairperson of the Nairobi branch of the Law Society of Kenya. And we'll also have ODR Africa, which is based in Nigeria represented together with our peer mediators who will also be making contributions. And also we'll have Mediate BC, which is also based in Canada. So we are looking forward to quite an active the rest of the afternoon. And I wish to thank you all for joining us. So allow me, Lisa Rose, can, are you able to say hello? And then we will be able to uh, catch you in the next session. Lisa Rose? Of course, I'll say a quick hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm from the United States, but I live in Ireland. So I, I kind of consider myself more Irish than American, I have to say, <laughs> after so many years here. Um, we're delighted to be presenting to your group this afternoon. Dorina, I hope. Um, alongside the Mediator Beyond Borders um, work that she and I both do in Kenya, you'll find the work she does with other organizations of interest. And um, I hope there are collaborative opportunities for Mediators Beyond Borders with some of you and that you find our work interesting. And we'll tell you all about it shortly. Um, my mediation background is in conflict and politics with young people mostly. I also work with policing and with political actors. So. I've been in Northern Ireland since 1993. And so it was before when our conflict was still ongoing. So it was pre-peace agreement. So I've worked in pre um, or in con active conflict scenarios in peace negotiations and then in post-conflict societies. So that's how I got into mediation about 27 years ago. <laughs> so, so looking forward to sharing you more with you more about our work in Kenya and around the world and not too long from now. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Lisa, for joining into this session. And colleagues, we are looking forward to that we can be able to share together, most of all, because we have the great opportunity to expand in our work as we expand. So we will close this session with the national anthem. We'll come back at 4.30 uh, p.m. Uh, 4.30 p.m. We will now have the session where we'll be able to learn more from Lisa Rose and uh, John Kretsch, who is a Kenyan and actually was awarded as the peace, uh, peacemaker of the year in uh, 2019. So we learn more on that. So we'll end with the national anthem uh, for Kenya and uh, in Kiswahili. ilete baraka kwetu, haki iwengao na mlinzi, na na undugu, amani na uhuru, raha tupate na ustawi. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us and we see you at 4.30. Please use the same link that you used to join in for the date today, December 1st. I wish to thank you for joining us at the African International Mediation Conference for this particular session. Thank you. Have a blessed the rest of the afternoon. Mr. Mainamigui, we may end the session. Thank you so much. Good evening. <laughs>